Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre, the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Gamer's Thoughts video for me. And this time I'm going to be talking about the closing up of Telltale Games. Um, a lot of us didn't know that this was going to happen. Like, I mean, it's something you could have predicted because of their business model and how expensive that business model could possibly be. But there wasn't much word about it until it was already happening. Like their sink, their ship was sinking and they didn't really like sound the emergency alarms until the bitch was already like starting to take in a whole shit ton of water. That That's the best analogy I can give. Um, <clears throat> And it's unfortunate because there, there's a lot that they could do with the, the story model that they set up, the way that they, they construct stories. There's a lot that they could do that would be interesting as far as like a storytelling perspective. So, like, to me, it's just unfortunate. Like, I, I do hope that the employees of Telltale, the ones that got, like, basically shafted all to hell, I hope that they... That they get jobs really quickly and they find themselves in better positions somewhere else. It, like, it's just unfortunate. I really kind of hope Nintendo takes a good portion of their employees. Cause I know Nintendo could do something with people that can tell stories that way. Um, and it, it would be a benefit for their own games. <laughs> the biggest problem I see with telltale is the same problem that platinum games has. And that's that they don't own any of the games that they make. And it's worse in Telltale's case is that they're licensing everything out. Whereas with Platinum, they're being contracted to do games for different companies. So they're bas ba they basically get contracted to make exclusive games for different platforms. Which is a benefit to them that, yeah, like... They may not own the IPs, but at least they're financially they're more financially stable than something like Telltale was. Whereas they're paying for licensing for these games and then paying to make the games themselves, and then on top of <laughs> then on top of that, they have to pay the the, the license holders a a portion of their profit. So yeah, that that that's that is definitely a death note for them. <laughs> And like I said, it's unfortunate, boy, because I could see so many different games that they could do stories on. And I even have a Why You Know Game video coming out the first Sunday in October. It's coming the first Sunday in October because I was going to do it this coming Sunday. But I was like, I said I was going to start my stuff in October. So I, I, I gave myself the extra time. <laughs> But <clears throat> it, it is just, to me, it's unfortunate because I like their games like I like their games. But like, but I'm probably one of a select few who, who appreciates their, their style of storytelling, because obviously their stuff, their stuff didn't sell very well. I mean, they, they sold decent for the most part, but they didn't sell extremely well with all the stuff that they had. So for me, looking at that, I'm like, it is just it's just sad for them. Especially all those people, like the 250 employees that just like got ra railed <laughs> when they got when they got laid off. Um, it sucks. <laughs> but like I said, I hope that they do find good jobs in the industry, all of them, like whether they start up their own independent um, studios or they go to other studios that will make good use of their talents um <clears throat> but it's not much more i could say like i was like i just i don't like seeing companies die out in the industry mm -hmm. because it's just a bad sign but hey the industry's doing well right we got companies tanking but every like we got companies tanking but there's a ton of money in the industry but like when when you see something like that that just means that there are a select few that are actually going to survive <sighs> but people don't like to see the writing on the wall, I guess. And it's the same thing with Telltale. They didn't like to see the writing on the wall, so they tried to hide it as best as they could. But that's it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games and peace out.